Hello, uh, my name is Tim Cahalan. I have been working on the rhododendron problem in the Killarney area for a number of years. So today I'm going to talk to you about when it was brought in and we look at some of the methods uh, we might use to get rid of problematic and unwanted rhododendron plants you might have on your property or in your gardens. So rhododendron was brought into the Clarny area around the late 19th century from the Iberian Peninsula of Western Spain and Portugal. And uh, in this area, it found uh, its perfect environment to uh, proliferate and spread um, due to our mild climate and um, our damp, heavy acidic soils um, provides the perfect conditions for the plant to thrive and grow and spread. So there's a number of reasons why rhododendron is so invasive and so why it uh, spreads so rapidly. Um, one of the main reasons is it's a prolific uh, producer of seed. Uh, it starts producing these uh, seed capsules from the age of uh, 10 to 12 years of age when the plant is that around that age and uh, it, it produces these uh, flower heads in, in uh, late May or June and um, eventually the petals fall off it and uh, we're left with these seed heads and um, eventually from November to January these capsules open and the seed start spreading. So each one of these capsules produces between three and seven thousand seeds and each one is a potential plant. One of the other reasons why it's uh, so invasive, its uh, leaves are toxic and um, grazing animals don't eat it. So it gives it, it also gives it that competitive advantage um, over other plants that may be grazed upon by deer and other grazing animals. So to treat rhododendron is quite, uh, is quite a simple process. Um, the main method we use is uh, stem treatment. So the way that works are, is cuts are made at the base of the plant, ensuring it's done below the last leaf. The herbicide then is taken up by the sap of the plant into the leaves and uh, eventually back down into the roots and completes, completely kills the plant. Um, this system, this method can be used all year round. Um, if it's done in the winter period, it, 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 it will take a long time for the plant to die off. It may be uh, April or May before the plant is completely killed off. In the summer, the, the process is a lot sooner. So it's quite simple, just clear to the base of the plant. A plant about this size, you just make it cut at either side of the plant and you apply your herbicide into the cuts. Again, with a smaller plant like this, again, two cuts. The herbicide that we're using is a solution of glyphosate uh, for a plant this size, a 5% or a one in 20 solution is uh, is enough for larger plants, uh, going right up to the larger, the, the biggest rhododendron you, you might get, um, a stronger solution will be required, 14% uh, uh, or a, a one in seven solution. The color blue that you see on the plant is a, uh, it's just a marker dye. It's a it's a non-toxic marker dye that we mix in with the with the herbicide just to um, indicate that the plant has been treated. <laughs> 